Farewell to Queen Elizabeth. Barbados is to end its association with the British Crown. This is just in today. Although the island country in the southeastern Caribbean Sea gained independence from the United Kingdom back in the 1960s, it's remained a member of the Commonwealth and is among more than a dozen nations that recognize Queen Elizabeth II as their formal head of state. For example, Australia, New Zealand, Canada. I remember when I was in elementary school in uh, Canada, in Montreal, because I'm also a Canadian citizen, we used to sing the um, Canadian anthem uh, of Canada and also God Save Our Gracious Queen. We used to sing to the Queen, to, uh, for God to bless Queen Elizabeth. Now, Barbados, as every uh, Commonwealth country, I would imagine, would do in elementary school. Now, Barbados is on the verge of ending its colonial past, as Prime Minister Mia Motley proposed the candidacy of Dame Sandra Mason for the post of the country's president. The Prime Minister said, We have Mrs. Mason is a fitting nomination for the post of being the first president of Barbados to be elected by this parliament. I'm happy to report, she said, that the Honourable Leader of the Opposition, like myself, agrees that the dignity of the occasion requires this joint effort. There are some things that are simply above partisan considerations in this nation, she said. Ms. Motley's statement came hours after the Parliament of Barbados voted unanimously to amend the country's constitution in order to make the nation a republic. Earlier this month, Prime Minister Motley revealed the debate on the country's association with the British Crown has been going on in Barbados for two decades. Please support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. The island nation has finally decided to become independent, she said. It's not a division decision. It's all, it allows the people of Barbados to tell the world that we have the confidence in ourselves to be fully responsible for who we are and what we do, Motley said. Right now, Dame Sandra Mason holds the post of Governor General of Barbados, a representative of Queen Elizabeth II. If Parliament approves her candidacy, Mason will become the country's first president on 30th of November 2021, on the same date the country gained independence from the United Kingdom in 1966. Barbados' decision to become a republic will not affect its membership in the Commonwealth. Buckingham Palace released a short statement commenting on the nation's decision, saying it's a matter for the government and people of Barbados. So if all goes as planned, the move will reduce Queen Elizabeth's reign to 15 countries. Jamaica is another nation that has expressed a desire to remove the British monarch as its nominal head of state. Mark Golding, who heads the People's National Party, said the measure is of vital importance. So we'll see who else goes after this. Uh, it seems that her commonwealth is uh, dwindling. This is by Max Gorbachev on Sputnik News. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.